everyone. I'm Park Il Ju from Media IT. I'm head of R&D department. The urban gas pipeline is the basic and critical infrastructure for the city. So I'm going to make a presentation on the urban gas pipeline safety and operation management service using drones and IOTs. It is not easy to see, actually, the urban gas pipelines on the street to supply the urban gas in a safe manner. We need to use a buried pipeline, I mean the pipeline underground. And the managing this kind of pipeline underground is critical and that requires many technologies actually. So I'm going to focus on that point today. What kind of technical elements are needed and what kind of services are needed for management of urban gas pipeline. First of all, let me briefly introduce you what services we are now providing and how we can utilize these services. Regarding the urban pipeline safety operation management services, this was initiated back in 2020 actually as part of the Smart City Pilot Project Sandbox Activation. Now, Media IT, our company, is in charge of the establishment of the service, and the service operation will be done by Sejong City. Oh, the operation, the service will be operated by JB company. The main content of this service is about the attaching IoT meters, smart meters to the pipelines, and if there is any leak or the illegal construction near the pipelines, or if there is any gas leak. Okay, the system, the IoT devices will monitor this kind of situation and predict the risks to better respond to a possible disaster. Accidents may happen due to urban gas, for instance, Kaohsiung in Taiwan or the Manhattan in the U.S. It is not a frequent disaster, but once it happens, it can lead to a massive tragic disaster. So to preventing this kind of disasters and responding only as only possible to any disaster that occurred is critical, and we need to renovate relevant regulations and utilize the third generation kind of sort of industrial revolution technologies, such kind of such as AI or big data. This diagram is from the U.S. data. This is the, this diagram that shows the main causes of the pipeline disasters. Corrosion, about 4%, and natural force, mainly due to the movement of the ground. Most gas pipelines are buried underground. And in the past, we thought that corrosion is the main cause of the pipeline disaster. However, actually, because of the welding, the wrong welding or wrong operation of pipelines or the excavation damages, these are the main causes of the disaster to the pipeline. These are actually the human errors. So preventing human errors is needed, and we need to apply technologies to prevent human errors. This is this slide shows the current status of um, the urban gas supply in Korea. The Korea coal gas supplies gas to about 33 companies, the urban gas companies nationwide. 
and then the, these companies see lower the pressure and they supply the gas to consumers. The low pressure gas is actually supplied to general consumers so that you can use the gas to cook, I mean, the, for your gas burner or something like that. So low pressure gas pipeline is quite long. And about 30% of the gas pipelines, they are very old. So safety of these pipelines should be managed. And the Co uh, Korea Gas Safety Corporation is in charge of this part. So together with the coal gas, it conducts precision safety diagnosis in a regular, I mean, the, in a regular manner. And uh, the, um, we found that uh, per one kilometer, there is about 1.5 risk factors. So this shows that why safety management is required. So to better manage the, the entire gas pipeline, we should apply IoT to enable the real-time monitoring and safety, safety management. So we should control the situation, we should project the possible risks, and then we should manage the required responses to the possible disasters. That is, these are the main goals of our business. Demonstrate our services. Let me narrow down some business scope. As you can see, this is an example. The gas pipelines may uh, be uh, installed, established uh, through the bridges or the underground or the, uh, through the buildings, the high rise buildings. So for safety management of gas pipelines, especially for pipelines buried, okay, we installed IoT devices to the pipelines underground. And for pipelines that go through the bridges or buildings, we used we use drones. So as I mentioned earlier, the main one of the main causes of the gas pipeline disaster is excavation construction. So actually excavation, if you want to do excavation work, you need to first report it to, to the authorities. So, so such kind of excavation works should be managed, should be monitored, and then checked up on a regular basis. So to support the safety management of gas pipelines, so we, as I said, we used drones. And on consumer facilities, consuming facilities, we installed the smart meter. Smart meters can, can detect the, any gas leak. And if there is any gas leak, it automatically shut down the gas. And it also monitors the consumption, I mean, the uses of gas at each consumer in real time. It is a remote monitoring system. We collect data through the IoT devices and drones in real time and the control tower that judges the situation and the project possible risks. It is a smart way of safety management. So this is a part of the Smart City Regulation Sandbox project. This service is applied to the District 5-1 of Sejong City. This district in this city, um, the main seven services, including AI or IoT, is applied to this special district. So urban gas pipeline, urban gas pipeline uh, safety is related to two. It actually belongs to the, the environment and energy sectors. 
So now we are doing this business by using the kind of um, services provided by this sandbox. In the initial stage, there was no kind of necessary legal kind of framework. However, thanks to the sandbox, we obtained the necessary approval for our business. And then we are using our smart meters and other devices to monitor the gas facilities in real time. So main content of our services here. As you can see on the left side of the slide, there are various IoT devices, as you can see. First, test, test box. The test box is buried underground, in, and there can be a kind of corrosion in the test box. So to manage this, we flow current to the test box to prevent corrosion. We have this technology. So this box can be used to, to this purpose, for this purpose, and earthquake or vibration may cause another risk, risk to the pipelines. So we installed some earthquake sensors and the rectifiers and the terminal pressure. Terminal pressure means that okay, we measure the terminal pressure at the consumer point to verify whether the safe gas is applied to consumer or household. And vibration sensor and the smart meter, smart meter automatically shut down the gas if there is any gas leak. These are the, um, the IoT devices, and we have IoT platform that collects data. And then the collected data is analyzed and processed based on big data, OK? And then the data is used for safety management and operation services. As I mentioned, that the site is District 5 hyphen 1 of Sejong City. Now there are, now there are, the, this district is under construction. So based on this site, we are now building our solutions like this. To monitor the supervised the excavation site, in the past, we should check. I mean, we should do. Um, we needed to rely on kind of visual monitoring by humans. However, this time we applied, we used the drones to automatically detect, to automatically monitor the excavation works and to detect the possible gas leaks. This is a pilot project. And the drones should be safely operated, of course, because it is operated in a city. So in the initial stage, we thought that we, of course, thought over the ways to safely operate, safely fly drones. There can be kind of industrial accidents, like because of the batteries of drones or the privacy infringement. Uh, because the drones can take uh, um, take images. Even if we prepare like this, there can be an accident. So now we also, our service is insured, of course. This is uh, the final result of the project. OK, the slide is showing the comprehensive the status monitoring screen. So you can visual, you can see a visualized supply and consumption status of gas on the left bottom side. Uh, here is a device. It shows the voltage and current. So the test box shows the real-time monitoring information. And on the right side, a range of risks. If there is any kind of risks, 
the system detects it, and then the supervisor can see the risks from the control tower. And the intelligent, intelligent analysis and intelligent analysis can be monitored by the control, center, control, power, uh, control tower as well. At the center of the screen, you can see the excavator here. And if uh, this excavation worker here, drones uh, can detect this uh, equipment. And if there is any gas leak because of uh, any possible damage to the gas pipelines, it detects it and sends the information directly to the control tower. And the GIS based real time monitoring service. Before we apply IoT devices, um, to manage or to monitor the gas pipelines, the person in charge had to visit each site and to visually check the status of gas pipelines. However, by applying IoT devices, we can monitor the safety elements in real time from the control tower remotely if there is any kind of um, abnormal vibration. Of course, what kind of abnormal vibration is can be also detected from the control tower, and the, the safety personnel can be dispatched to the site. And the monitoring on the consumers, on the terminal households. If there's like any gas leak in a consumer site, the control tower, of course, it can detect it and send a service personnel to the consumer. For instance, um, some senior citizens uh, or some um, the vulnerable, if I mean the senior citizens living alone, if uh, a certain household does not use, does not consume gas, the system can predict uh, there can be possibly some kind of danger at the household. By comparing the consumption of gas in an apartment, if we use gas, the person in charge, they need to visit each household in an apartment to, to check, to, to measure the gas consumption, gas uses. However, using the smart meter, it is possible. The smart meter enables the remote monitoring and the checkup of the gas uses and the protection of the risks of gas pipelines using the rectifiers. It, okay, it manages the pressure so to safely provide low pressure gas through the pipelines. If the pressure of the gas is lowered, much lower than expected, we can predict that there is a kind of possible gas leak in a certain a certain point. So we have established a deep learning based pressure monitoring system. So based on that system, you can predict the gas leak data, I mean the current gas leak data with the previous data to predict a possible gas leak. For instance, this is more specific information. On the right side, the abnormal pressure gas leak um, management criteria. If even if a pressure is in in the in a normal range, if there is a kind of a pattern, kind of a declining pattern of pressure, we can predict there can be a even if it is not big, small gas leak in a at certain point of pipeline. In the past, it was not possible to predict this. However, based on the IoT devices or based on the, the AI systems, we can. Uh, detect even a small leak of gas. And then the possible um, effects, I mean, the expectations of our services. 
The urban gas is the source of the energies being used by every citizen. So, managing gas in a safe manner is critical for lives of people in a city. Drones and IOTs, in the past, it was not possible to directly apply the IOTs or the drones for management of the drones. However, thanks to the sandbox, we now are applying these. And by applying these new technologies, we can create new jobs. From a technical point of view, Point. Cities, the size of a city will grow, which means that all the infrastructure will be buried, will be established underground. So to safely manage it, all the infrastructure, it is critical to manage the underground facilities. So by collecting the data using IoT devices, you can manage it as a platform, safety platform. You can manage the seven utilities, including the electricity or pop, uh, gas. Last, point, last one is about the ways to spread our services. Um, by conducting this demonstration project, we have acquired the safety monitoring system and then risk protection system based on the big data and AI. We have secured all these technologies. Based on these technologies, we can provide our solution for 33 gas companies nationwide. Thank you very much. Thank you.